you know how much I love making these, <laughs> these videos. Should you go to school for photography? It's a big topic. Everyone asks me. It's kind of funny because I went to art school for graphic design, but my college also had a program for photography. So there was a whole section with photography students for photography. Like I took a photography class. It was a film photography class. I took it when I was a freshman or a sophomore, I believe. Um, and that's the only photography class I've ever taken. I learned how to develop film. I learned all that old school stuff. It was really cool. But at the time, I was just not interested in photography. I did not care. I mean, sh the teacher was sitting there explaining like aperture exposure. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, lunch is in an hour. <laughs> Wanna hurry this up? You know, we got a schedule going here. I mean, they stopped serving macaroni at three, girl. Come on, hurry it up. <laughs> I could tell you, just don't go to college, you know, do this, do that. But at the end of the day, no matter what I say, I feel like this decision should be yours based on, you know, you, you personally, like your lifestyle, you, the experience that you want. Because truly, I really did take something away from art school. And bec even though it wasn't towards photography, even in graphic design, I still learned professional application. I learned professional business practices, stuff that I would have never learned by myself. College isn't always necessary and I'm gonna have some people disagree with me, but I left school with like $80,000 worth of loans for a major that I didn't, I don't even use right now. And could I have done photography without going to college? I don't know, maybe, but the way I see it is that my journey through art school started with graphic design and then it led me to photography. So I feel like if I didn't go to art school, if I didn't go to college, I wouldn't be doing photography right now. Point, point blank, honestly, because when you're in that artistic, creative field, surrounded by creative people, you just, you're just more inspired. It's a little bit more stressful. Yeah, you have projects and stuff like that, but you're constantly reminded of to be creative. Like, hey, you have to be creative today. Otherwise, you're gonna fail. So here are the good things about going to college. I mean, you get that professional business background that is going to be hard to learn on your own. Um, you're surrounded by a lot of creative people. You have a chance to network with these people. You really make a lot of connections when you're in college because you're going to school with people who are going to graduate and do things with other companies. Like I have friends who work at Nike, um, overseas at Adidas, and it's crazy Volkswagen. So when your classmates graduate college and they work for big companies, you can always have that network or that connection if need be. Another thing that might be a big, big factor, and I know it was a big factor for me because all my friends were going to college. You want that college experience. I mean, I know when I was in high school and I was graduating, everyone was going to college. It was kind of like a thing. You, it's tricky for me to, to say this because on one hand, you do want to have that college experience. You want to go with your friends. You want to have classes and all that stuff. And then on the other hand, college is very expensive. You know, who has 80 grand laying, laying around? You know, you're like, you think I have that kind of money? I don't. What do you think? I, I like in this box. I have like eighty thousand. Oh, here you go. Actually, keep the ten grand. Actually, I'm not doing anything with it. Honestly, just it's just money for a rainy day. I mean, I don't even need it really. No one. Okay, maybe like a couple people, but I don't know any of those people. If you are choosing to go to college for photography, just be prepared to deal with that mentally because it does take a mental toll on you and I know it did on me you know when you graduate with however many loans that you do have you're going to be responsible or you know hopefully you'll have your parents help I did not have um, you know that financial support I had to support myself so if you are mentally you know emotionally it sounds kind of funny to say that but you tr truly student loans and loans in general do take an emotional and mental toll on you so just be, be prepared for that, if you do choose to go to college, um, you know, you're, maybe you won't have a job right away when you graduate, you have to expect that. Um, maybe you'll have a job doing something that you weren't planning on doing. That should be something that you are thinking about, especially for photography. It's a very 
um, competitive uh, fields. So if you're not starting your own business, you want to work with something, just don't have the expectation like, okay, I'm going to graduate and because I have a degree, I'm going to get a job right away because it's not going to happen like that. Actually, most places don't care if you have a degree in the creative field, to be honest. I have done a bunch of job interviews and a lot of the time it's your portfolio that is going to get you through the door. I mean, you can have a degree from the Harvard of art colleges in the United States or wherever, but if your work isn't good, you think they're going to you're there going to hire you no. Your work has to be there. If you have a, an amazing portfolio, whether or not you went to college is going to be irrelevant. They're going to want to hire you based on your portfolio and your skill and your talent so if you choose not to go to college don't think of it as the end of the world because again a lot of us you know for financial reasons or maybe you're in a situation you can't go to college don't feel down don't feel um discouraged at all because a lot of people can't go to college and can still go into art fields and into creative jobs and I know a bunch of people who started their own businesses even doing graphic design and they didn't even go to college and they are doing great for themselves so just keep that in mind and don't again don't feel discouraged because it's going to come up you're going to see people going to college and you'll be like should I have done that truly you can do it you can go into creative a creative field without going to college am I advocating that you shouldn't go to college um, no, I think that you should do whatever you are comfortable with and you feel is right. I went to college, I went to art school, and would I do it again? 100% I would do it again, 1,000% over. I mean, it was a great experience. I made so many friends. I, I took away stuff from college, and whether or not I use my degree now, it doesn't even matter because it led me to where I am today, which is photography. It's nice to have a degree, but you don't need it. You really don't. Your portfolio is what's going to sell. So work on your portfolio. Um, you know, practice a lot. If you do choose to go to college, great. Good for you. If not, save save ninety million dollars and and just learn by yourself photography or Photoshop or anything else that you want to learn. There's so many free resources on the internet. It's totally possible for you to do if you are self motivated and you have uh, that support. If you're from Europe and you're watching this, you're probably like, what are you, $80,000? What? Yeah, we have to pay for college here, which really, really sucks. I don't know why people think that we have that much money laying around. If I had that much money laying around, you think I would spend it to be at school to do, to, for them to give me work to do that I don't even want to do? I would buy my own island probably. I bought myself a nice car. So yeah, everyone in Europe, I mean, you're probably watching this like, Turning this off now. <laughs> I'm about to like move to Germany and get some free uh, college. <laughs> I'll learn German. That's okay. I can do it. And also just a quick thing. Uh, you should never feel bad if you're not able to go to college, especially if it's um, due to financial problems. I remember when I first went to college, every one of my classmates had the newest MacBook Pro and I still had my, I believe it was like a Dell computer or I don't know what I was using at the time. Uh, but I, d I could not afford a MacBook and it took me two years. I was the only student in my whole entire department that didn't have a MacBook. It's not about like, oh, I want a MacBook Pro, but you know, that was the application they were using for the entire department. And I, yeah, I was the only one not to have a MacBook Pro for, again, two years. It took me to save up money and uh, buy a new computer. So don't feel discouraged. And don't feel bad for any reason. I mean, we all, we're all human. So that's my opinion on the matter. Let me know what you guys think as always. And thank you guys for watching.